Hi there, welcome back. Um, as mentioned in the previous lesson, in this one I'm going to be showing you how to add grid lines to your glow to make it look more like a like a glow. So, uh, in order to do that, you need to turn your projection back to the usual WGS84. So, Command Shift P, change it back, and you want to go to Vector, Research Tools, and then Vector Grid and click on clip the countries and then update extents from layer and then the x and y is basically how frequently you show um, a grid line so i'm going to do it every 15 degrees output is grid lines output shape file and i'm just going to call this grid lines save that Add result to canvas. OK. And there you can see there's your grid added to your map. Now what you need to do is add, basically these are single lines, so you can't turn them into curves. You need to basically add more points along each of these lines so that you can then bend them. So in order to do that, you need to go to Densify Geometries, which is under the Geometry Tools, and select your grid lines layer and 50 vertices should be enough. Basically, it means you're going to add 50 points along each line. Uh, we don't need to save to a new file, so just OK that. Just hit yes for this one, and then OK. Now you can see it's added in all of these extra points along your grid lines. So OK that. So close that. And then you need to click on this um, Save All Layers button here. OK that. and then unclick your editing on the grid lines layer. So now you can switch your projection back to your EFRO and you'll see that the lines don't look right. And the reason for this is because we need to do the simplified geometries. So uncheck that, OK that, and then we'll see them drawn beautifully on our globe. Uh, I don't want red ones, so I'm just going to change the style here to a nice grey one. There we go. And I think I'll change the borders just to make them a little bit lighter. Sorry, darker. So they don't show up as much. There we go. So there we have it. That is how you add grid lines to your orthographic projection to create a more of a globe effect. In the next lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to animate um, some data points. Basically, I'm going to be replicating flights out of Heathrow to various destinations around the globe. Um, I can show you how to do this as um, dots animating around the globe and also as lines using the brilliant MMQGIS um, plugin which allows you to do animation. So come back soon.